Nice. You get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of hey, course. Ooh, a wall of light. Now, do you think a lot of stuff actually happens last night, or do you think these people are just, like, tooting their own horn? That's a good question. Ooh, that's yeah, well, I don't know, I, I, I guess maybe, like, considering the city's in such chaos, I guess there's probably... There's probably, you know, a lot, a lot of action. For the for the city guard, so wouldn't be surprised you if any given any given night a high percentage of them had something crazy happen. Yeah. Well, I've got this water locked side door key. Okay. And to be fair, it does seem like. Uh, and there's no real reason to do this. But it's fun. <laughs> I very most of my uses of wind blast. It's not really because it makes more makes tactical sense. It's just because why merely stab a guy when I can hurl him over a balcony? It's the big. Hmm. It's the true question. Why murder someone a little when you can murder them a lot? Exactly. They call him Closed Casket Corvo, Atano. <laughs> That's his calling card. Now there's these tall boys. Now if Corvo got captured, do you think he would be Corvo tight lips? Well, he basically ne he's basically never speaks ever, so yeah, I'd imagine. You ever wonder how like those gangsters got their nicknames? How, how, how does that work? Is there... I don't know. I mean, it's the same, like, now as it would have been in 1930s Chicago, but... It still makes me wonder. No, I don't know, just throughout history, groups... Like names, especially in, like, insular sort of subcultures, like... You know. mm. Yeah, that is sort of interesting, to how, how that happened. How people get where some of them originated. Let's see here. Are those clouds moving? I'm not sure. Think you'll get your own squad after Remain on post until you receive Little order. edit there. Time sort of bends when you're in the process of blinking, which is why you get sometimes you get the you know that warp slowdown in your voices. Yeah. I just remembered. Better not be. Better not be one of your pranks where you cut your own throat and pretend to be dead. <laughs> uh. This is a place of business, you guys. Let's be serious. Jimmy, could you stop just accidentally killing yourself and then laying here until I find you? Oh, they're on to me. <laughs> Coming tall boy fire. Oh no! Oh, and they got me. Uh, I just left that in because it was a pretty, 
pretty cool death. That was a pretty good fight. Sword, sword fighting while tall, exploding tall boy arrows rain down. Meanwhile, in an alternate timeline. I don't know why I hesitated to shoot there. It's not like I'm ever not not like I'm often short of bullets. <laughs> that blood's kinda not confused about what to do with the stairs there. <laughs> that was just me fucking up. <laughs> There's no s secret gameplay reason why I would wind blast there. Well, you were looking for secret doors, obviously. That's what I'll go with here. There was an SNES game with that mechanic, wasn't it? Yeah, I think there's more than one probably. We had to like hit hit stuff to see if there are any secret doors in it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was a common thing actually. Yeah, I'm sure there were plenty of games that had something like that. Remember the Goonies had that in those weird 3D exploration scenes. Oh yeah. I forgot the Goonies had a game. We only got Goonies 2, you know. Yeah. Which was very confusing to me as a child because the like I I thought like okay either there must be a Goonies one game or there's a Goonies two Goonies two movie that the game is an adaptation of and there was a Goonies one game but it was only in Japan and the plot of that that's why remember how the plot of Goonies two the game is just completely nonsensical it has nothing whatsoever to do with the movie yeah I mean there's a freaking mermaid and. Yeah, you play as Chunk, right? No, Mikey. Or Mikey. With yeah. your yo-yo. I want. Was the Goonies really that popular in Japan to warn a game? I don't know. Two games? <laughs> That's a good question. It's like a classic 80s American film, but. Are there a lot of really relatable experiences? Maybe there are. But meanwhile, the dark steampunk world of Dishonored... Corvo just comes out, he's all he's all completely just covered in thorns. Yeah, barbed wire. Wire. Is that barbed wire? Yes it is. Oh. Oops. I, <laughs> my, my attempt to launch myself over it didn't go as well as it might have, but it worked. It oh! Down I go again. But... I wanted my the death where I just like tele I, I teleport over barbed wire, but then accidentally I'm just suspended high in the air. To, I thought that was worth keeping. The best. Ah, now we've seen these before, of course. Yes. Procedure remains the same. So there, there's a way for you to get to the top of that without blinking, right? Like a ladder. Um. Well, not for you. Right. I mean, I, I assume that they have like a ladder that they can take out and prop up if they need to. Now notice those tall boy arrows hitting it. I don't think they can ever really damage it. As far as I've seen, anyway, they haven't. 
Whereas the tower can and will kill tall boys. I believe. Why would they design it with a separate red light that only turns on when it's been subverted? I don't know. I don't think it turns red when it's targeting you, does it? No. I don't think so. It's always just like... Why would they design this? I've never understood like their ships like... Like, um, like in sci-fi ships have a... Destroy engines button. <laughs> That poor guy's like pinned down over there. <laughs> there he goes. decree hmm. effective immediately all access to Dunwall Tower is hereby restricted to official traffic via waterlock only the front gate is sealed with no exceptions this order issued from the office of General Tobias with the full authority of the Lord Regent we will run into General Tobias actually briefly Accurately, our blade will run into him. Well, mostly. We don't really have much time to develop a deep emotional connection with him because. Yeah. Our interaction is mostly just hauling his body around. Alright, but le possession level 2. Now I can control human targets as well. Now, when you're possessing a human, you can't do complex actions, like you can't operate items or fight or attack people. You can just walk around. But that can still get a lot done. Also, once it runs out, you basically pop out of the guy, and he's, like, temporarily disoriented and sick. So you can take him down really... Oh! <laughs> Forgotten this. He's got the Jimmy legs, even in death. You notice you hear that rat noise? Yeah. I wonder if, like, he's, like... He's being eaten by invisible... I don't know what that is! Maybe Look he's at... laying on a rat. Maybe. He's still going. <laughs> uh, luckily, I've never had it. I can't recall any bugs I've encountered in this game that have, like, really messed up the gameplay. Mostly they're just, mostly they're just funny. What's the best bug you've run into? Oh, that's a good question. In any game. Oh, I'd have to think about that for a while. I... Captain Briarmont, I must ask you to speak with one of your men. Corporal Keyes reports to you, I believe. According to the morning duty officer, Keyes has been making his way to the basement, meeting with the royal interrogator. Remember the interrogator? Yes. Way back at the beginning? One of the three bald men? Keyes has been making his way to the basement, meeting with the royal interrogator. I have no idea what they discuss, but it's been reported that Keyes has an interest in the occult. Either way, I'm not an overseer, so I don't give a fig for how he spends his time when he's not on duty. But keep him away from the torturer. The basement is off limits to our men. Major Hawking. Ah. Apparently the torturer makes his residence here. Optional. Visit the torturer. <laughs> Ooh, grenade. Seems to be like a big mode of piranhas in there or something. Or hagfish. 
probably hagfish. Yeah. You know, the thing about piranhas, they actually don't go into a frenzy unless they smell blood. Okay. So, like sharks, then. Yeah. Now there's... <coughs> creeping along the side of the tower. And, hey, look at that over there. Of an entrance. Hmm. Wire. Just hanging out there. Let's see if there's anything in here. Well, uh, oh, another grenade. Now, needless to say, we're not just going to stride through the front door. There's where the assassination happened. Yeah. There appeared to be a woman sitting over there. I didn't think to investigate it. So, do you think this is all rendered when you first come in, or...? I don't know. I mean, it's all one big environment. There's no loading. Hmm. But, now, next, next, on to the interior. <laughs> 